Yo, what's up guys, it's Vimal here and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today's video is going to be super lit because I got my hands on AMD's latest 3rd gen Ryzen CPUs. I've been waiting from such a long time to get my hands on these guys and I finally got them. So right now I have the Ryzen 7 3700X, it's AMD's latest 3rd gen CPU. Uh, so in this lineup, we've got a lot of models like the 3600X, Ryzen 9 3900X. I'll be getting them also very soon. But in this particular video, we'll be checking out the Ryzen 7 3700X. So this is an 8-core 16-thread CPU, guys. It's a monster CPU. Uh, the price will be very similar to the 2700X. They've launched it for the same price. But it's based on Zen 2 architecture and is based on a 7 nanometer process, which brings about 15% improvement compared to the last second gen CPUs. I'm very excited to unbox and check them out guys, so let's get started with the video. So the 3rd gen Ryzen CPUs come in this sort of box packing. The box looks pretty similar to the last year's 2nd gen CPUs, but with a slight change in the graphics on the box. You've got the Ryzen logo here and has the AMD branding at the top left. And as I've told you, I've got the Ryzen 7 3700X. This new 3rd gen CPU comes with a lot of new and improved features which we'll talk about in this video. So let's turn around the box and see what's written on all the sides. Just like the previous gen, even this new CPU comes with a stock cooler in the box. The 3700X comes with the Wraith Prism RGB stock cooler. And going to the other side, there's a cutout over here through which you can see the CPU. Wow, I'm very excited for this. As you can see, it says Ryzen 7 3700X. And at the back side, we've just got some details regarding the product. It's based on a new Zen 2 architecture and the product comes with a 3 year limited warranty. Well, that's it guys, there's nothing much written on it. So let's get started with the unboxing. On opening the package, we've got two mini boxes on the inside. And in this tiny box over here, we've got the brand new Ryzen CPU. The packaging looks exactly the same as the previous gen. And well, here it is guys, our brand new Ryzen 7 3700X. So before we check it out, let me also show you what do we have in that other box. So in this box, you get a free stock cooler for the CPU. I really like that AMD gives you a free stock air cooler along with most of their processors. So in case if you're on a tight budget, you don't need to buy any separate coolers, this will be more than enough for you. That's it, these are all the items you got in the package. Now let me first show you the cooler. This is AMD's Wraith Prism RGBA cooler. It's not just any other ordinary stock cooler guys, it's a quite decent cooler that provides good cooling solutions for your CPU. Well, how do I know? That's because I've already used it in the past with my 2700X. This one is exactly the same. So here it is, the AMD Wraith Prism RGB. The design looks the same, it's got an RGB fan with an RGB ring all around it, but this time AMD has added support for Razer Chroma. That means you can enjoy some in-game ambient effects that react dynamically to every scene and action in the game. And not only that, the RGB lighting on it can be easily controlled with the compatible motherboard software. The build quality looks very good, it's got a huge heatsink block with 4 direct contact copper heat pipes to offer you a good thermal solution right out of the box. And over here it just has a single 4 pin fan header. Alright, let me keep it aside and see what else is in the box. Along with the cooler, you get these two cables in the box. One is a RGB header to sync the lighting with the motherboard and the other one is a USB 2.0 header. I guess this is for the Razer Chroma software. Anyways, these are all the stuff we got in the package. Now let's finally check out the processor. So the CPU comes nicely packed like this. Let me take it out. The 3rd gen Ryzen CPUs are based on a 7 nanometer process and the new Zen 2 architecture. So that means we'll be getting a higher and better performance with much lower power consumption at the same time. The company says that by moving to 7 nanometer process, there's an improvement of 15% IPC performance compared to the 2nd gen Ryzen CPUs. I can't wait to put these to a test. So here it is guys, our brand new 3rd gen Ryzen 7 3700X. It comes nicely packed on this tray. The 3700X is an 8-core 16-thread CPU with a base clock frequency of 3.6 GHz and a max boost clock frequency of 4.4 GHz. It's got an AM4 package and a total cache of around 36 MB, which AMD calls as game cache and is much higher than on the 2700X. Keeping all that aside, the biggest addition to this new Ryzen CPU says PCIe 4.0 support. Now that is a big game changer guys as it brings huge improvements in the speeds and doubles the bandwidth compared to the previous gen. 
Talking about the TDP, the 3700X has a TDP of around 65 watts, which is relatively very low compared to 105 watts on the 2700X. So that means it consumes lower power yet offers much higher performance. I'm very excited to see how this CPU performs. So guys, in the coming days, I'll be building a new gaming PC with this Ryzen 3rd gen CPUs and also all the other new components which I bought recently. Also, I've got a special GPU just for this build. I'm not gonna tell you what that is right now, but don't worry, you'll get to know what that is very soon. Okay, so I'll end the video over here. So that was our unboxing and overview on the new Ryzen 3rd gen CPU. If you guys have any suggestions for this upcoming build, do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Well that's it, I hope you all enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.